Taste the Goblin Rainbow. Spiky Bits. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Barrett from SpikyBits.com, and we're on location at the Dark Bunny Creative Studio checking out the Skittles. <laughs> Gloom Spike Gets Army here. I've got Phil from Dark Bunny Creatives. What's up, dude? What's up? So, uh, special guest appearance by GoTrack. What's that about? Oh, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> he can join, right? I think he's friends with these guys. So uh, maybe not. Uh, agree to disagree. Yeah, yeah. No, it was just a little uh, one of a uh, offshoot, I guess. The oh. client asked for an extra, just to throw him in there on his display base. So we thought, you know, he could probably take on the entire army. So we'll just Most show him a little sneak peek, right? Yes. But, um, yes, obviously we'll grab him out of here or show him off. Just Yeah, we should. He's got, like, tattoos. tattoos and... on him, yeah. Some wow. Nice little lighting. And then, of course, to tie him into the scene, here's a little goblin right off. That's the face. one from the Manglers, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so can you get so many extra bits, so we just Why grabbed not? him. But I'll move him out of here. Oh, if I go that, check. And then... But yeah, the rest of this army is obviously all Gloom Spite Gits. So we've got a mixture of Adept and Epic. Mm -hmm. um, so the Adept uh, is basically all the infantry, or your standard infantry, I guess, is what the, they're the standard infantry for Gloom yeah. Spite. Um, some squigs, and then the two Mangler squigs in the Boy, back, the big boys. Super big boys. Yeah. Um, so wow. we, the Mangler is built a specific way, but we actually wanted to change it up slightly. So. Uh, we did the Loom Boss variation on the second Mangler, uh -huh. um, just to you know, break it up a little bit, uh, but added some extra things, so little, little bits from the Mangler kit to make sure it uh, still had that Mangler feel, you know? I like this uh, this little floral uh, stuff on here. Yeah, the little uh, the patterns and the, uh, you know, skin, skin would have those patterns on it, or at least yeah. something to help break it up. So the Epic guy there in the center has a little bit more... Uh, patterns going on. You can see mm -hmm. down here he's got a little bit more diverse in the, uh, the yeah. patterns. And, um, Squig markings. And then of course Epic uh, for us includes Epic basing. So you can see it's built up a bit. We had more of the, the details and plants and things to help That's crazy. Uh, create more of an environment and scene. Some shrooms. So, yeah, the overall environment is supposed to be sort of like this. They, they live in caves, right? So yeah. they've got sort of the mushrooms and the glowing uh, texture of the ground. So that's, that's pretty remarkable too. Like the like the ground really. I mean, it's dark enough that it pops the stuff above it, but mm -hmm. like it it is bright in its own right. Yeah, yeah. It's got that kind of weird energy, I guess, flowing mm -hmm. through it or whatever. But um, yeah, these guys are intense with all the. So oh, every man. one of them has mushrooms or some sort of cloud they're jumping off of. Yeah, let's look at these guys because I think you can see it better on yeah. these hoppers over here. Yeah, and one of the things we wanted to do, because the squigs, I believe these guys can be running in squads of up to 15. Mm -hmm. um, so we wanted to give him the option to either do them in groups of 15, 10, 20, or 5. So we've got 40 different hoppers, um, and they're designated by their different colors of squigs. Right. And then each unit of 10 has two different squ uh, colors for the fabric. So you've got orange and yellow. Uh -huh. And so he can basically break them up however he wants. Oh, like. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like right there on the riders. Yeah. Two different squads. That's cool. And then you got the, what the, this was the Loon Curse boss squig guy, yeah. right? Yeah. This little dude. -er. Yeah. He's hard to get. Uh, yeah, I think we got, we lucked out and we just found him online. Uh, oh, separate. there you go. He's lucky, but yeah, he's a pretty, definitely a cool model. We were going to convert pace. him originally, but we got, we got our hands on the, the authentic one. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love, I love all the patterns on him too. That's like really a lot of work, dude. That looks really good. And you got the fungoid shaman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got a crazy amount of details going wow. on. There's mushrooms everywhere, little critters all over him. I, even, I can't <laughs> even right now. This is, this is insane. Like every time I look closer, I see more and more detail. Mm -hmm. this, this is this is nuts. So your adept is what? The second highest, epic's your, your highest? Correct. So these guys are epic. Epic and adept. Right yeah. here in the middle probably. Like some epic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, just the loom bosses basically are the epic models. Um, gotcha. Giant armor. So looking one great. Crazy basing. Awesome. <laughs> so if somebody wants to get like an army like this, how do they hit you up? Uh, just hit us up on darkmoneycreatives.com. You can submit a quote request there. Uh, we're also on Facebook at Dark Money Creatives. You can shoot us a me message. And then uh, be sure to follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. Uh, we post daily. So we've always got content to share and cool stuff that we're working on. So give us a follow and... 
be up to date.